Good morning everyone. Um, I get a lot of emails about um, people's crossover upgrades that have gone wrong and um, why they're having problems with now tweeters playing too loud and mid-range being too shouty. Um, they tell me that they've taken their speakers apart, they've looked at the crossover and they've read off all the values of the capacitors and they've ordered online the best polypropylene versions of those capacitors they can. Um, fitted them and now their speakers sound awful so how can that be when they're fitted better components uh, what's gone wrong and the reason for that is um, equivalent series resistance um, internal resistance of capacitors and um, this is where they are falling down so here we have a 20 microfarad electrolytic and a 20 microfarad polypropylene and as you can see there's quite a size difference there and as well as having a capacitive um, value these also have internal resistance um, characteristics and they are very different and then with smaller values again this is uh, 2.1 and so is this so electrolytic polypropylene so capacitors resist low frequencies and it's not something that um, all of a sudden there's, they're not conducting and then they are. It's um, a kind of an arc. So at lower frequencies their resistance will be very high and depending on their value this resistance will fall and fall and fall and fall as the frequencies rise. And that's why we use capacitors to filter out low frequencies. If you use a poly cap, when these hit your tuning frequency, so when you want them to basically conduct fully, um, their resistance is going to be quite a lot less. And all of a sudden your driver, your tweeter, your mid-range is going to play, whilst it's being crossed at the right frequency, is going to play, play considerably louder. So if we look at just a typical tweeter circuit, a positive, a capacitor, and then our tweeter, it's a negative, and let's say it's a second order, so we've also got an inductor here. Um, let's, for argument's sake, say this is a four microfarad capacitor. It also has a resistance value. So when this is allowing our tweeter to play, um, this resistance will come into effect and be very critical. So if we look at two capacitors here, so these are 2.1 microfarad. If we test this one, its equivalent series resistance is 0 0.69 ohms. And if we look at the same value polypropylene, we get 0 0.00, no such thing as a superconductor, so let's call it 0 0.01. So there's a massive difference there. And with the electrolytic, it's basically the same as having a resistor in circuit at the beginning, which is gonna attenuate our tweeter. But now you've put your poly cap in there, that's all of a sudden gone. And this is going to play, whilst being crossed at the right frequency, is going to play louder. And a difference in value like that of 0.7 could mean this is playing 2 dB louder. And that's a lot. Bear in mind that 3 dB increase is a doubling of the sound, um, the volume. So it's this is where the problem occurs. So if you're going to start using polycaps, then... Uh, in place of electrolytics, then don't be too surprised if you then need to add in a very small value resistor in front of them, um, like a half an ohm or one ohm, to bring that tweeter level back down to what it should be. But now you're adding another component in the signal path. So really, you've got to weigh this up. Either the speaker should originally be voiced with the polypropylene cap and these resistance values taken into account, 
or you start introducing resistors. Um, so yeah, really it's better to start the design with these in the first place rather than retrofit them afterwards because you may run into this problem. Right, so here I've drawn a very simple three-way speaker crossover. So we have a second order for our tweeter, a bandpass first order for our mid-range, and a second order for our woofer. Now, if we were to replace these capacitors with polypropylene, and before they were electrolytic, chances are the mid-range and the tweeter are now going to play louder. If you need to attenuate these circuits, so reduce their output volume, those resistors must be added before the filter. So a resistor there for your mid-range and a resistor here for your tweeter. If you add them anywhere else in this circuit, you will change the tuning frequency of this because the circuit will effectively see a different impedance and that will alter the frequency this um, operates at so they must be before the filter not in between or anything like that and chances are these are only going to be need to be small values like an ohm or half an ohm something like that what you should never need to do is attenuate the woofer circuit if you have to do that then there's a problem your woofer should be the reference for your mid-range and tweeter or in a two-way your tweeter um, not the other way round, because the woofer circuit is the one that sees the majority of the power. So, yeah, that's the problem with using these in place of these without the original design kind of accounting for these. So, yeah, like I say, if you run into this problem, don't be surprised if you then have to add resistors. So just to look at some larger values. So this is a 21 microfarad polypropylene cap and its ESR is 0 0.06 ohms. So if I look at the electrolytic version, we get 0.21 so this is going to make you'd probably find this on a mid-range circuit uh, first in in circuit that's going to make that mid play slightly louder so you might end up adding a half ohm resistor in the tweeter circuit that could be as much as an ohm so yeah just uh, something i thought i'd mention because i get a lot of emails about this and they're probably from people that have watched the videos i've been doing um, so hopefully that helps and uh, yeah any problems drop us an email glad to help and um, yeah more videos soon I've just been inundated with speakers um, but wanting to get something out and this is something that crops up quite a lot so don't forget your ESR all right take care